All right, I just finished cleaning that terminal, getting all the corrosion off of it. But there's a bunch of things I want to show you. I think this is the easiest way to do it instead of making a list because I can just show you what's going on here. You can clearly see someone has welded some ridiculous setup on here. This O2 sensor is in the wrong spot. You can see they cut away the heat shield and installed it here when it should have been installed down there. This flange should have been down further. This is some jerry-riggery setup. You can see that there's a weld joint way down there. I might get a better angle of it on this side. See that coupling they put in there? Let's see if I can get this to zoom out. See that? That's a fix. All along here, this engine has had work. You can see all the orange. It's also really bad on the back. They tried to shave it on the front so that you couldn't see it very well, but if you go to the back, see all that? <laughs> Somebody's definitely been back here working. A lot of this was loose. I think this might be from another vehicle. I can't be 100% sure, but this seems really out of place to me because this vehicle is Japanese and this piece is made in China. I don't see Japanese people getting stuff from China to build their cars. It just doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna look into this and see what's going on with this whole air box setup. That whole clamp was loose, which would have been giving you bad readings uh, from the mass airflow sensor. So I've gone ahead and disconnected the battery so we can reset the computer. And uh, I took this off, had a look at it. This is already an aftermarket one by Walker. It's not that good, but it works. Whatever, it should work. So hopefully after a reset, this thing might run better. I tightened this clamp down because this was loose, allowing airflow past the mass airflow sensor, which would have screwed up the fuel readings. And uh, I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, for an engine that was just replaced, it seems really weird to me that this car has an oil leak already. Oh, you can see it all here. It's definitely a leak going on. There's also power steering fluid coming from there. I will give them credit you can see they replaced the CV axles recently, so that definitely got replaced. But uh, there is a ton of drip down over here. You can see all of it. That is all oil. It's also on the bottom here. You can see it everywhere. There's a big drip stain right there getting ready to drip on the driveway. So you can see they had more seal maker on there. So this engine has been worked on. I don't know what they did. And there you go multiple exhaust attempts at fixes you can see the one starts right there goes down to here meets a flex pipe a very small flex pipe and then continues down there you can see that whole joint is all wet because this thing's been blowing oil and that continues all the way down to another fix and then another fix and then another fix i have no i have no idea what they did to this car now if you come to the other side no let me show you what's going on with this control arm on this other side here this is just to get us started. There's only water in here in the reservoir. I don't even know what's in here, but this, there's, right now there's only water in here. You can see it, it's not even green. That's just dirty water. That's how you boil an engine. That's definitely not good. So we'll, we'll address that. I also need to check the transmission fluid. But let's get under this side of the car and the passenger and show you what's going on over here. Uh, uh, there you go. Your powering assist, your power steering assist is really, really bad. The entire, uh, rubber boot up there as you can see is completely disintegrating Let's see if I can get you closer so you can have a good look see you're just just leaking like a sieve all over everything that is that is horrible once again you can see that the CV axle was replaced you can see the new parts in there that they've put you can see they did new engine mounts here recently that big black rubber thing that's new engine mounts I did notice it on the top and there you go your upper control arm rubbers are blasted they're just falling apart so this thing needs a lot of work. There's your other O2 sensor right there. So you can see all the fixes all the way down. They've done some very, very, very jerry-riggery to make this thing function at all. So I think this computer is very confused and has no clue what's going on, honestly. So there you go. You can see the power steering pump way up there is also leaking. <laughs> oh my God, man. This thing's... uh. Bad wow, look, it's about to drip on my, look at that. Big old drip about to drip right off there. <sighs> look at, boom. That's crazy. And the AC condenser is doing exactly what it should, producing water. So, this car's in rough shape. <laughs> I honestly, if, if this had been me, I probably would have paid maybe 1500 for a car that needs this much work. I mean, it needs work. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat shit. It needs work. 
This car needs a lot of work. This is, this is, uh, you know, hopefully things hold up and they do all right. It is Toyota. Toyotas have a tendency to run forever, but this one is in very, very rough shape. This one's not happy. Not a happy camper. So, anyways. No! Oh, I gotta check the water when it cools off. I'm working on this, and I got multiple projects. I just finished a motorcycle over there, and I'm got to tune the carbs on mine and then I'm tearing this guy's head off and replacing the entire cylinder setup piston rod all that on here so I will work on this as I can Tam I also have to finish that orange bike over there but when this car needs <laughs> it needs work man I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it doesn't it needs work so this is this does not seem accurate to me that what's going on here does not make sense and I'm sure this is a very confused computer in this car right now so I'm just going to reset it. I cleaned it, tightened things down. I want to see what it says now after cleaning. I want to see how it runs. I want to see if it stalls. If it stalls, I'm going to disconnect the O2 sensor and see if I can just bypass the O2 sensor, which means the computer will just throw fuel at the car to keep it running, and hopefully it won't keep stalling. And then I don't know if this is something you'll ever resolve because this, I mean, to replace all this would be a ridiculous amount of money. So <laughs> not sure how far you'd want to go with all that, but it is what it is. All right, I'm out.